friends. How are you? Okie dokie. Everybody good? You look good. Hey. Oh, I'm good. Hi, everybody. And you know, everybody in Carlin, everybody. I'm Brad. Hey, and I'm uh, I'm I'm relatively clear and my lighting's pretty good. And I wasn't I wasn't supposed to be here. Brick Manley was going to do it because I was uh, I spent the last day or so. Does anybody know where? Vegas. No. Uh, Mongolia. No. What does it say? Sam. Mississippi. Oh, no, you disappeared. I know. You're supposed to read the thing. Oh, Start Vegas. We're, we're all trying to drag this out. Start Vegas, which is Mississippi State in Starkville, Mississippi. Oh. The last two days. We're down there looking at the graduate school for the kid. And... And it was super fun. It was great. You, it, What's great about it is driving from here is you drive right through 1956. <laughs> Fantastic. And then you get there and you're, you're around 2008, I think. Is great. But, uh, but they're very friendly, very friendly. And it's a, it's a great college and we hope uh, she gets set to go. And, uh, and I, I'm very excited uh, for all that. So we bought all the accoutrement already. We're already, I use dead to us. And now we're <laughs> so, all right, well, I'm going to, I'm going to skip all the stuff that, and I'm going to read these off my hand, by the way, uh, again, we have a, a beautiful night. We've got our star, Steve Goody, everybody coming on to do the whole show and, and wearing a fancy, fancy shirt. I love that one. Oh yes. And also Patty Vasquez, our little COVID. <laughs> I hope she's better. Patty, are you better? And uh, and of course, uh, if he figures out his uh, his Zoom, which wasn't on his phone, Renard Hirsch will be here. Yay! But he sent me a message Yay. said something about rain, which I don't didn't know would be a big deal when you're trying to Zoom, but that's okay. And of course, uh, the person that we love most of all is Carla Albright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now she she's probably sad she doesn't get to read the worst joke of the week. Are you sad? Uh... I read it to my husband earlier. He loved it. He did? Look. Well, then it's not the worst joke. Ah, uh, no. Well, sadly, it is not. The, it's actually a pretty good joke, but mm -hmm. I was in a rush today. But let's let's cleanse our palate with these. this bit of nonsense. Here we go. I have not read these out loud yet, so it's going to be really crappy. Here we go. <laughs> Are you ready? Unless, yeah. now this one, as of today, is not uh, apropos anymore, because now Donald Trump gets to find $175 million. So uh, take this one about a day ago. Unless Donald Trump can pick the right five numbers on the Powerball to win $977 million, he's going to miss his date to secure a half a billion dollar bond to stop Letitia James from starting to seize Trump's assets. And they may, even at the 175 at some point, seize his assets. Do you know the first thing that James will go after is a Trump golf course, which leads to another problem for New York in valuing assets. What is today's value for ex-wife bones? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That's it. <laughs> Started dark and got darker. There. What are you guys, crazy? <laughs> All right, here you go. Hey, the Department of Justice and a dozen states are suing Apple. You all knew that. Mm. A huge lawsuit over anti-competitive tactics that they use to keep market share. If the lawsuit against Apple by the Department of Justice is successful, the members of the Department of Justice will all be using pagers. Be <laughs> Apple's going to yank their phones. That's right. Oh, wow. Did you see this? In, in recall news, 444,000 Starbucks holiday mugs are being recalled for burn and cut risks, but also, also because they've been found not to be serving Satan enough. They're, they're, they're on the Satan serving scale. All right. I got the papers to play with this week, so okay. Uh oh, this one I've never done this before. It's on two pages, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to turn a page in the middle. Everybody follows the NCAA tournament, right? Oh yes. How's the brackets going? The over under is not looking good. Yeah, the over and out is is looking better. <laughs> the number fourteen. This was good in our house. The number fourteen Oakland Golden Grizzlies basketball team stunned. Number three, UK, to advance to the second round of the NCAA men's tournament for the first time in history. Wow. Ooh. UK now worries about their future and maybe someday losing to the P Poughkeepsie Fuchsia Ferrets. <laughs> <laughs> when you don't read them ahead of time, you don't say Poughkeepsie correctly. So, <laughs> hey, this one, I, you know, science, we love the science. 
a newly identified fossil of a frog is being named after Kermit the Frog. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> oh, see, Janice knew that. Uh, it's, you know why it's being named Kermit? It's being named Kermit because the fossil was found stuck to the fossil of a pig. <laughs> Hi oh. <laughs> Y'all understood that one anyway. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, you know what? The most exciting thing of my week. The long-awaited Beetlejuice sequel will open in September with much of the original cast. Isn't that great? Cool. I saw the trailer today and I cried. I just, I, I almost cried. Uh, the premise is essentially the same. When you say Beetlejuice three times, he appears, which is just the opposite of what happens in New York City when you say Trump three times and your assets disappear. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And the ex-wife bones. <laughs> but it's not impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hey, whoever's yelling. That's my brother. That's my just just mute Steve. All right. Somebody's in his room talking. So did you mute him? Uh, nope. Zoom user? Yeah. No, owner two. Oh, damn it. Okay, Zoom user. Zoom user. I, who cares? Go on. <laughs> get a chance. There you go. All right. And now no one wanted this joke, but here it is. <laughs> French President Emmanuel Macron, or better known as Emmanuel Macron. <laughs> 46 put on the gloves did you see this put on the gloves and knocked around the old heavy bag to show off his boxing skills for reporters uh, the paparazzi then turned to his wife 70 year old Brigitte who said the first one of you who mentions me in this article dies <laughs> <laughs> she then reiterated she only weighs 115 pounds <laughs> not the old bag Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I'm going to stretch this out as long as I like I that my role as Ed McMahon is getting bigger uh, and bigger. Zoom, remember, <laughs> Zoom is not downloading for some reason. Well, Carla, get ready for an extra long set. <laughs> Prepare. Prepare yourself. It's your Tim Cavanaugh day. <laughs> hey, Carla, we can do the thing where we trade songs for like a week. Yes. Okay. yes. It's going to be a double trade. Get a polka in there. <laughs> Uh oh, Steve's getting the yes. accordion out. Accordion's right over there. Batteries the are up. coming out. Oh, Here we go. <laughs> Social media company Reddit. Y'all, y'all follow the Reddit. They're going public mm -hmm. after more than ten years. Da. This. Wow. Oh, by the way, they will offer shares to their base users. So it's good news for middle-aged loser dudes in their mom's basement. Uh, Neat. <laughs> they'll be uh, they'll be posting without their pants, and they'll get thirty-four dollars. It'll be fantastic. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this one, my favorite thing of the week. The FBI is calling a group of kid bank robbers in Texas, the Little Rascals, oh, after the three God. boys, ages 11, 12, and 14, robbed a Wells Fargo bank. Wow. Wow. <laughs> they were apprehended after their parents saw security footage of the youths and turned them in. <laughs> that That is cold-blooded, Mom. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Authorities authorities have no idea how much the boys stole or where the money went. Uh, when asked for an interview, the parents weren't able to speak because they were relaxing in their brand new Whirlpool spa. <laughs> <laughs> now, the parents did say those boys are going to get a good talking to when they get home from juvenile detention but ask them to stop by Chase Bank on their way home, too. So, <laughs> Mama likes a sauna. Okay. Yeah. Hey, a new study. A new study. We got a new study, by the way. Uh, wait, I'm trying to see if I've only... How many of you I got left? You're all excited to know there's only two left. A new study shows that Republicans who get their news from non-conservative mainstream media are less likely to support Trump. Less likely. Shocking. And those that do get their news from conservative offshoot crazy media are more likely to think the Illuminati lizards are throwing plane doors at the living JFK Jr. <laughs> and he's hiding Biden in the cellar. That's what they're going <laughs> to All right, one more. And then we're never going to see Renard. <laughs> I think, <laughs> again, be ready. I'm writing a song called Where's Renard? It's Where's seven Renard? Long. I'll, as soon as you do the top 10 and all that, I'll go out and try to figure him out. Okay. Vladimir Putin, last one. And this is still going on. It's crazy. 
Vladimir Putin said that the ISIS Islamic State terrorists who attacked a theater in Moscow were captured as they were trying to escape to Ukraine. Yes, that's where they were yeah. going, Ukraine. <laughs> a country run by a Jewish president. Yes, it's, uh, because nobody gets along better than the Islamic State and the Jews. I think they're <laughs> such good friends for so many years. Uh, and wait, was it, wasn't it Zelensky a Nazi a while ago from Putin? Wasn't yeah. that? The, yes, I know. <laughs> by the way, next up, Putin will tell us how tasty clam chowder popsicles are. It'll be fantastic. <laughs> okay. Yeah, enough. Oh, my God. Hi, everybody. It's Brad Tassel. Tassel. Let's 